here with head coach Joe Compagni two days before the Northeast Conference Championship. So coach, just seemed like a few weeks ago we were meeting to discuss the Mama Season opener. Now we're two days away from the NEC Championships. What have you seen through the course of the year that's led you to this point? We uh, have been excited to host the championship all year long. The outdoor season always goes by very fast. It was just a few weeks ago that we hosted the season opener here on a very chilly day. We got a few weekends in April to make some progress, and we have made great progress. And now uh, uh, we're looking forward to having the championship here at home again this year. Now, what are the keys going into the championship weekend? The keys for us are always really to have a balanced approach. We have athletes entered in every event. Uh, we're going to need to get contributions from a lot of people. Last year we were able to win by a wide margin. Our women have won three of the last four titles. Our men have won six of the last seven. This one is going to be very close and very competitive. There are a number of teams who are very strong and who are going to make it uh, a very exciting meet this year for sure. Now how important is it to defend both the men's and women's championships at home here on Kessler Field? It, it's great for our folks to be at home. This is the third time we've hosted NECs here at Monmouth. Uh, we hosted in 2007, 2009, and we were fortunate to win both of those. To be at home gives our folks the advantage of being in their own bed, competing in a facility that they train on every day, and we also uh, are looking forward to having great support, having families here, having folks on campus be able to come see the event, and uh, having a lot of our alums come back to see the meet as well. Well, great. We wish you all the luck this weekend. Uh, the Northeast Conference Championships hosted here at Monmouth University on Kessler Field, May 7th and May 8th. Good luck, Coach. Thank you, John.